Dohuk city in northern Iraq, where an estimated 500,000 displaced Iraqis have found safety. Perched on a hilltop, a camp. Nearby is the villa that Farhad owns. Farhad is a successful businessman and benefactor. A witness to Iraqis sleeping on the street, he decided to help. He built a camp with tents, electricity, water, a place of shelter. Farhad's compassion is heartfelt, grounded in his own boyhood flight. Abbas once worked for Farhad to build his villa next to their camp. Then he went back to his hometown of Sinjar. In early August, he and his family had to flee when armed groups attacked their village. After spending nine terrifying days trapped on Mount Sinjar, they walked across the border into Syria. He had nowhere else to go and was afraid that his children might die on the streets of Syria. Then help came that would save him and his family. <laughs> The next morning, Abbas and his family crossed the border again, back into Iraq. When they arrived in Dohuk, they were amongst the first to settle into Farhad's camp. And word spread quickly. More displaced families came. Farhad says that about 1,000 people are now living in the camp and he will continue to help them until they can go back home. These families are grateful for his support. Farhad's generosity has made their lives more bearable at the most difficult of times. Farhad still hopes that these families will be able to go back home and rebuild their lives, just as he once did.